Right, anyway, so today we are going to be playing Age of Empires 4. We're going to jump into the single player campaign. And the first one is the Norman invasion of England, it looks like. So let's just jump in and see what we've got. There's a bit of a story mode to this. Um, and you can, of course, just play skirmish mode against the AI or against other players. But this, we're going to follow Some the story leave through. a deep mark on history, but none on the land. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. I was nearly there After not long ago. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of England turned. It's where a king was killed, and his victor claimed the throne. Rather ghostly. Hey, Polyester Love, can you name anything in this game? I don't think you can in, in this one. Oh, I don't think there's anything worth October naming, 14th, certainly. 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. What, this crow? The oh, Bayer Tapestry. This. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. A propaganda tool, maybe. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England. And his challenger, William. Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. <laughs> Typical British weather. But a storm weather. <laughs> thwarted his plans. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north. Another threat to his crown, so he raced to fight them. In France, William waited for the right conditions to sail across the Channel to England. The weather cleared. That's nice. He seized his chance. Two hundred and fifty miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his <laughs> army sped south. And that was the earliest known version of Whack-a-Mole game, At invented nine by King in the Harold. Morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. Is that the is that, that the friendly you did? Ah, okay. I see the new new Twitch account. Maybe is that? Uh, <laughs> I think I know who you are from your uh, carefully concealed name. But uh, well, welcome back anyway. I hope you managed to get that sorted out. Uh, yeah, the Bayou Tapestry is definitely a, a source of of usable information, but it maybe shouldn't be a hundred percent trusted. Because uh, it was, of course, as any any account of any battle is written by the victors, with uh, just the information that they probably want to uh, record for history. So, like any historic source, it needs to be questioned and looked at, and what's the word, validated with uh, with other sources as well. Not that there was a whole lot around back then that survived anyway. Senlac Hill, 1066. On October 14th, 1066. William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. That's some hill. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. So I have a feeling this is just like a, this, this particular fight here is a bit of a tutorial to lead us into this. Attack the army. With everything? Okay, with ev Hang on, why can I not... Uh... William's Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the sheer wall. Ah, okay, alt. I can rotate the map with alt. I don't like not being able to move the map around with the, with the movement keys, but... You can probably live with that. So, I'll just follow the prompts for now. 
I can't do. Though William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall. Move with arrow keys, can I? Oh, that's better. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. Mm, if I do that though, I can't. Realizing then... his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. Feign a retreat, okay. He aimed to lure the Anglo Saxons into a false sense of victory, causing them oh, to really? break formation. Okay, this is this is just a moment. This is driving me mad because I can't rotate the middle the map on the middle mouse button. I have to hold down Alt. Then W A S D are bound to special uh, orders, which I don't think we're going to use. So I'll probably just use mouse clicks for those. I'd rather be able to move the map around and rotate with the uh, the the Wasid keys. I think. So what do we want? We want camera controls for this. Are we? Does that work? It. It hasn't, but I think it will from the next thing on, because this is just like a tutorial thing, so... Oh, that is annoying, though. That is annoying. That is really annoying. Who who came up with that key combination? Right, all the other units away from the shield wall, so I click on all that, and go like that, and then I have to move Williams over here to move working. the map. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, okay. leaving gaps for William to Retreat. make Run. Go on. Get stuck in, fellas. Can I not order anything else to, uh, to attack here? Not yet. Catch you in a moment. With Harold's men no longer in shield wall formation, William could pick them off as they charged. Okay, so we can kill the Saxons away from the shield wall. Yep, we are we are busy doing that. Slow going, but we are. Any reinforcements coming? More Norman we men at arms reinforced William's army. Drag these people over. Oh, nice. Right, go and get stuck in. We'll just trash these guys in the centre and move them over. William has fallen. Select a unit and right click on William to order them to revive him. Just the one then. I didn't know you could do that. The Anglo Saxons had deployed rows of spearmen to push back the invaders. But William had an answer. His sharp eyed archers. Yay! Open fire. That's more like it. Oh, I can't wait to get my proper movement keys back. Reinforcements, nice. Throw them in. Keep these guys active over there. Don't want the spearmen getting the archers. They're saying left at the ground. Even I don't. I don't want to do that. Archers can attack at range. We're vulnerable to melee attacks. Really, you don't say. Swordsman, get in. No, uh, no. You want to come out of there. <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to work. Let me throw these uh, knights in. This would be a good time. Let those go forwards. Nice, we've got this unending supply of swordsmen to come running in. Oh, that, no, it's not one. Oh, no, they are. They are still, still here. Send the boys in. Right, there's still a lot of spearmen to hack up up there. Anglo-Saxon archers joined the fray, and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. Some firepower First, over there. William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen, whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. Can I not send my... Um... Archers up there, no, not yet. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna say the units and models look very similar to Age of Empires 2. Oh, you need uh, reviving again. We've got this unkillable William the Conqueror. Spears. Well, swords, actually. 
I haven't got spearmen. Focus all my archers over there. I think it's wanted me to move the archers, but to hell with that. With the threat of spearmen cleared from the field, William's cavalry was free charge. to charge at the Anglo-Saxon uh -huh. archers. Uh, oh, the archers? Right, I sent the cavalry in at the spears. Uh, mistakes were made. Let's start at that edge up there. More spearmen waiting in reserve. I don't think, by the way, this is quite how the Battle of Hastings went. Just in case anyone's thinking, oh, this is an interesting historical game we've got there, Mark. I did not know that. The Anglo-Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized and their numbers were dwindling. Pull those horses back and quite fighting Now the spearmen. only thing standing between William and victory was King Harold himself. Let's go attack these guys from behind. I don't think it makes any difference like in this game, but... Well, they're moving onward, oddly. Right, now let's go in. King Harold, let's let's put an arrow in his eye. <laughs> Not sure it's working. I got more men down here. I don't want my archers to get into combat. If I can help it. The last of Harold's men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives to save his. Can you guys hear me okay, or is it uh, a little bit loud? I think it's probably a little bit loud coming over that. Let's take a look. Settings. Yeah, even with everything turned down for the stream, it's still a touch loud. Let's take sound effects. Take that down to 70% and see what we get. Yeah, that seems a bit more mellow. That's better. Okay. By the way, anyone want to play this? It's available through Game Pass for PC. Poor old Harold, I think he's about to go down. Slay King Harold. The Anglo Saxon King Harold had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. As you probably would, if the guy who pays the wages is no longer there, there's not much point fighting. Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. YTS Kid, thank you very much for 11 months of subs, and sorry to hear you not so well today. Off work six, so can actually catch an afternoon stream. Well, uh, glad that you're here, but sorry to hear you're not so well. I hope it's not the dreaded COVID uh, that struck you down. We'll leave the difficulty as it is. Unlocked content. These are just videos, are they? Page from history, what's that? In 1066, April, a bright star with a long streaked tail appeared in the night sky and burned for weeks. Its appearance coincided with the imminent invasion of England by William of Normandy. To William's soldiers, waiting eagerly to set sail from Normandy, it seemed that the star's tail pointed directly at the Saxon king's castle in England. This was a divine guarantee of victory. Yes, I'm sure. Any sign could be taken as a good sign if you wanted it to. Right, let's see what's next. At the Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here, on England's south coast. His army defeated by William of Normandy. That's quite cool how they've overlaid... Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. Overlaid that over the reins of the abbey there. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day 1066, William was crowned the first Norman King of England. 
Now he had to secure power across the country. Ah. He began by stamping his mark on the landscape. Good old Norman castles. Building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. They reminded the Anglo-Saxon population exactly who was in charge. You got some good video for these, for this. A variety but of castles there. Not all eh? were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. Yay. <laughs> the north. In 1069, a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. York? Together they approached Norman held York. A large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. But the walls couldn't save York. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. William's hmm. new kingdom was under threat. I did not know about this. He had to get the city back under Norman control. I'll have to look up to see if this is correct. That looks William familiar. William had no choice but to order his men north. But as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? North to York. That was a nice looking walk they were on there. Yeah, definitely too much information there, but that sounds really nasty. I do hope it, uh, it clears up soon. Gameplay tip. To capture a town, you must defeat all enemy forces within the red circle marker. So this campaign looks like it goes from 1066 to 1217. It's definitely after William's time. So uh, the uh, early stages of what is modern England, I suppose. Ah, some nice music. Quite relaxing stuff. So who's watching? Who's a fan of uh, RTS games? And who remembers the old... And then they are old now, Age of Empires. I played one and two, but it was like 20 plus years ago. It'd be 98, I think I played Age of Empires 1. I think it was, it'd been out a few years by that point. Road to York, 1069. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path, stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back by force. Capture Middlethorpe. Okay, we, we don't have any villagers, do we? So I'm guessing we just pile in. Right, let's put uh, archers on two. Spears on one, cavalry on three. Let's get the spears up front. They're always the most expendable. Oh, we have a scout, though. We have two scouts. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can actually wander off anywhere. Or whether we're supposed to... Supposed to just follow the road and just pile up. Uzi Fuzi, how's it going? Nice to see you. Started with Starcraft for you and just discovered Age of Empires 2 recently. Quite curious about this one. Age of Empires 2, from what I remember, feels exactly the same as this. Uh, I, I played quite a bit of Age of Empires. Can I go across there? No. I played quite a bit of Empires 2. And uh, I think the graphics are maybe updated for this. I, I don't remember Age of Empires 2 looking rougher than this, I've got to say. But, I mean, you know, memories fade over 20 years. Uh, but I will say that... Um, I can tell it's the same game, more or less, with some different scenarios, but some very similar mechanics. This, this is going to be the Harrying of the North, I think, yeah. I need to learn more about this time period, because we have a Norman castle in our t local town, Richmond, which is 950 years old this year, I think. Yeah, I think, I think they were celebrating it this year. And 
I want to know what was there before the castle. I, as far as I know, there are no records, there's no information, and no knowledge of Saxon inhabitants of this area. Maybe not of the towns, maybe the, the town grew up around the castle and the castle was sighted to control a river crossing. But, um, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting time. I, I need to delve into the history books, if there are any history books. Come back, retreat! What have we got? What have we got? We've got any spears? No. Right, archers. Lob. Spearmen, charge. Cavalry. Go at them, guys. William! Where's William? I've left him behind. Pile in. I'm just going to leave my scout down here. Oh, I've got some sheep from this one. Right, butcher the town hall. I guess we have to destroy it. Probably don't have to destroy the buildings, right? Oh, we've captured it. The Normans okay. captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to right, supply let's them. Let's bring these sheep over. So now this is the I guess this is the tutorial bit for building little city. <laughs> Middlethorpe. That does sound like a very English name, doesn't it? Right then, Mr. Scout, bring these sheep in. Oh, hang on, where's... Uh, put the peasants there, I can't see them. Oh, we've got some? We've got some, excellent. Um, go to work on the fields, I guess. Actually, yeah, we can just work those over. What else do we need? Bring the scouts up. Get me some more civvies. Build four additional farms. Okay, get me some more civvies then. Uh, get, the, get the cavalry out of the way. Uh, you three will do. We do. Is it B for build? No, it's not. Gates, towers, outposts, farms. Let's just go one. Okay, shift. Must be shift. One, two, three, four. We'll keep this looking symmetrical. Let's go five. Let's let's really show off. Uh, what else have we got? You can get... What else do we need to do? Assign five villagers to chop wood. Give me a wood chopping bit. Okay, I'm going to build a wood camp down here, if I can. A lumber camp. Go and do this. Do we have anyone spare? Go and harvest that sheep. I just want to see how that works. Get my archers over there. Spearmen. Well, I'm going to guess that the enemy are in that direction up the road. Masuno. Uh, let's get one, two, three. Is somebody. Oh, it's a scout. Couldn't see what it was. Did somebody hack that that sheep to bits? You, come here. I want to see what this looks like. <laughs> it's not. He it really just hit it over the head with a stick. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess it works. Can I control the sheep themselves or have they run off? I did bring some in, did I not? I can! Okay, I can just tell the sheep to come over here then. Go to the butcher. Yay, sheepies. So... Did the guy... Oh, he's gone to... He's, he's soaring up the one on the floor. Okay, not the one that stood up. I thought that looked a bit odd. That must be stone. Build two additional houses. We're under attack. 
Hmm, I seem to have lost most of my archers here. Hang on, let me just get some spearmen up here. Uh, let's see, we've got... Um, is that one? No, they're in hunting. You guys are chopping wood. Okay, give me two of you. Get that bit done. And then the job done. Houses. Which are the houses? Build two additional houses. We'll stick them down on that bit there. It's shift. I've got to remember it's shift to do multiple ones. Okay, I think we're on. I think the farms just manage themselves from that point. I guess I can build a mill right next to it and they wouldn't then have to walk all the way back to there, but... Can we upgrade? Advance to the feudal age. 400 food, 200 gold. I haven't got the gold. Not out of five. One out of two, nearly there. Okay, I'll, I'll resist the temptation. Is he on, is, is he actually harvesting anything from that sheep, do you think? The Norman army was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Do the scouts have auto explore? Let's have a look. Stand ground. Delete. Wedge formation? Oh, hang on. Wedge formation? Another rebel town, full Nice. Stood in defiance to William's rule. Staggered. Okay, that's quite good. I guess the cavalry would probably want to be in a wedge formation to break in to things. And you'd probably want to be in a line. Uh, auto explore though. Revive lead. Is he dead? No, he's fine. Oh, we seem to have some reinforcements just arrived. Get them. Get them. Actually, them spears don't want to be in a wedge like that. Turn that off, can I? Bloody more, 888. Thank you for the follow. Uh, let me have a look at the scouts. I, I, I would have thought there should be an auto-explore. Herd sheep to building. Drop carcass. Stop. Attack move. Garrison. Delete. Stand ground. And then wedges. I don't think they have. Hmm, I'm surprised at that. I would have thought there would be. Dario, you came here from the YouTube Hearts of Iron 4 series. Excellent. Which, which one? I have quite a few playthroughs on there now and some more starting probably next week. I'm going to do a France playthrough. I know everyone's playing. Let me just uh, set those up. Oh, hang on. We've got some more knights. Let's put them all together. Control three. Yeah, I'm going to do a Hearts of Iron 4 France playthrough. Uh, I know everyone's playing the new DLC that's just come out. But uh, I am holding off on that because I expect... I expect them to patch that. <laughs> uh, Let's see, what have we got? We've got oh, swordsmen, put those on four. And archers, put those on two. There we go, we have an army. Put the swordsmen up front. And the scout, who's not doing very much at all, let's run off and have a look. 